Hello everyone and welcome back to Quicksafe TV, your number one source for Skyrim coverage on YouTube. Today I'm gonna present you the class, the Spellblade. Now, quick, quick overview. I'm gonna present you the weaponry I suggest for the class, the armor I suggest for the class, specific uh, equipment I suggest for the class, and the contradictionary usage of robes. Alright, so now this video was suggested by one of the subscribers. That's actually the second take of the video, which is very frustrating. However, the first take was too long. Now I'm going to just quickly run through the old ideas I wanted to talk to you today. Now, I suggest you to focus to get your coffee, because it's probably going to be a lot of information again. Now, the idea of the class. Spellblade is a fi fi fighter mage hybrid, relying heavily on spells, one-handed weaponry and armor to stay alive. In melee combat, dealing devastating damage to the enemies, and at range, confusing them, turning them against one another, and killing them with destruction spells. Now, Spellblade is not a mage, and not a warrior. Spellblade is a deadly combination of both, and requires a solid understanding of the game, or a very stubborn nature to be effective. Now let's talk about all the things in details. Let's start with the weaponry. I have prepared several weaponry for this introduction. However, I have to tell you right away, you will be able to make something better or something that's more appropriate for you. Don't specifically follow my example. I created a blade, the calling of the dead, or dead which is... A, w which has casual enchantment for 10 points of frost damage to health and stamina. The Crusader, which absorbs 10 points of health. The Void of Justice, the Voice of Justice, which is a specific, bla uh, specific dagger which is used to turn undead and Deidre. And now the Whitbane, which does 20 points of magical damage. The best enchantment so far um, I would suggest you to use is the Drain Magicka. I'm just gonna talk about all the enchantments. The idea behind these enchantments for the blade is just to be a little bit more effective against melee fighters, because melee fighters will be your major problem as a spell blade, because you're not, you're not a focused spell fight, uh, you're not a focused fighter, you're actually a spell fighter, yes, you use the spells and you use the fighting attributes to, in order to assist you in combat. So, your main difficulty will be not mages or archers, your main difficulty will be actually warriors with shields and two-handed. So cold will allow you to drain their stamina and not, not let them use their power attacks. The, crusade, the, cr the Crusader allows you to drain some health from the enemies upon attacking them. It's not a perfect combination, but yeah, that's, that's the idea. The Wheat Pain allows you to destroy enemy magic. It would be much more effective if it would instead drain magic, but I didn't have this enchantment at the time. I made this weapon, so yeah. And the Voice of Justice is the dagger, which you won't use in general, because dagger is not effective, not as effective as any other weapon, so you shouldn't use it in general, but you can use it to get rid of Undead and Deidre out of enemy groups. By doing so, you will reduce the enemy groups as such, and it will make your life much more easier. Now, perfect. Now let's talk about spells. Spells. I divided spells for you on two groups. Of course, it's my suggestions. You might be able to find more effective usage of them, but I'm going to talk about my suggestions. Specific. You have to remember, it's my opinion, and it's my suggestion. If it doesn't work for you, don't force yourself to follow it. So, in the first group, I put illusion and destruction plus a little bit of conjuration. It's a useful group. The second group, useless group, is alteration and restoration. Now, how would we use the spells? Let me go ahead and run through spells. I'm actually going to turn here. Uh, let's start with destruction. Uh, illusion. Illusion. Illusion has nice spells such as Calm, Fear and Fury, which uh, all work the same way. Uh, calm uh, removes the enemy from the battlefield by making him staring at you like an idiot. Buh. The fear makes the enemy flee from the battlefield, screaming something like "Ah!" Fury makes the enemy attack his allies, reducing their numbers and removing one of them again from the battlefield. Very, very nice spells. Illusions will be illusion will allow you to focus to get rid of melee fighters with difficult melee fighters in order to use your distraction spells and you know just to deal damage effectively without dying. Now, very effective spells and distractions are clocks. And, uh, and, and in general, any damage in spells. Now, how are they effective? Let me just go ahead and demonstrate it. We activate the clock and just rush into the melee combat. I'm a little bit naked right now, but just don't mind that. The idea behind using the clock is because you are a melee fighter, right? And because you are a hybrid, it's very nice to use different abilities which last a long time. Mm -hmm. So as you use the clock, you can go in melee combat, deal damage with your sword, and also burn enemies with your fire clock. 
then very very good again it's not important to keep clock in your hand equipped for a long time just cast it once and switch it to something like a nice spike use the different distraction spells at distant appropriate to enemies in order to deal damage the distraction spells are your new archery now conjuration is the school the spell school again which you don't need to recast all that often just cast it once and relax you're gonna have additional assistant in the battlefield and just use it to your advantage the spells i do not suggest focusing on the spell schools is alteration and restoration alteration because it provides more bonuses to mages when they don't wear armor we you will wear armor if you're not a homicidal maniac and then the restoration because restoration is much a better focus for a paladin than you you will use restoration to heal yourself if you want but it's pretty much it pretty much it don't focus on it too much there's some good perks in restoration which you should take however I'm just going to demonstrate which perks I'm talking about. They're universally good. The recovery, magic regenerates 50% faster. And the regeneration, healing spells... No, 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 no. But wait a second. Recovery, 50% faster. And avoid death. Once a day heals 250 points automatically when you fall to 10% hit point. It's very good spells. Now, perfect. Now that we talked about spells, let's talk about armor. I have prepared two sets of armor and the game lags horribly right now. I hope you're not noticing it in the recording. You probably will. Uh, I have created two sets of armor. Okay, heavy and light. The idea behind the sets is to use... Well, actually, you should go ahead and use whatever is comfortable for you. I have created the heavy set and light set. Let me just run through enchantments. The heavy set, illusion spells are cheaper, magic regenerates 60% faster. Shock, re shock and fire resistances, the magic increased, heavy armor increased. Now illusion is cheaper and magic is increased. Now light armor is destruction is cheaper and magic regenerates faster. In, uh, the resistances are increased. The magic is increased. Light armor is increased. Magic increased. Magic regeneration also increased. So the idea is to make something useful for you. I would argue for a spell blade that y you have to balance your enchantments. Don't just go all in, oh, I need more magic, I'm a spell blade. No, that's not how you should think. You should just go ahead and balance them with resistances and the additional magic, a cheaper, cheaper spell casting, and focus on one school, okay? If you like illusion very much and you use it in every fight, just you go ahead and focus on illusion. If you like the distraction much more, just focus on distraction, right? Make distraction cheaper and just be more effective. Now, it's about armor. What to prefer, light or heavy armor? Now, let's talk a bit about this. The, the light armor, as such, is cheaper on perks, but it's less effective, okay? Light armor, to be good in light armor, you, you don't really need a lot of perks. It's very easy to master. Where are you, light armor? Where are you? Oh, dear. Yes, you are here. It's very cheap on perks, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one is double, so ten. Okay, I mean, it's five times, so it's ten. And the heavy armor is much more expensive. Oh boy, it's much more expensive, but it's much more effective as well. So, you know, if you have additional the perk points to spare, just go ahead to for a heavy armor. Heavy armor as such is more effective, but more expensive on perks. Okay, we talked about it. Now, ropes. Ropes, ropes are suicidal for a spell blade because you're also melee. Ropes don't provide you any 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 damage resistance bonuses and they are very very not effective in this, you know. Because of this, you will die much more often and it's like notice notice how much my armor is right now. 1167. Now just equip the robe. It drops two times, e even more than two times. Now think of that what's going to happen to you when you're going to go in melee. Horrible crap. It was Dora. I apologize for that very much. Now, the idea of using I'll just go ahead and open it the idea of using the robes is only when the enchantments is so strong that you are prepared to deal with the decreased damage resistance right however considering that you are a melee class d any decreased damage resistance will eventually just kill you so I don't suggest you using robes in general because you're gonna go heavily in melee so don't use ropes, perfect. The stone I suggest for you is the lava stone, as it gives plus 15% bonus for each skill gain, right? Each skill gain in the game. Not just specific skills. If you cannot find the lava stone, go ahead and use plus 20% from the warrior or mage stone. Also very, very good stones. Now, potions. Potions, we're gonna talk a little bit about potions. Potions of healing and magicka. 
you should actually stockpile equally on both because you're gonna bo use both effectively and especially stockpile on healing potions just in case because unlike the full scale warriors you don't you won't use a shield and you won't use two-handed weapon which will not assist you in combat anyhow you'll use one-handed which is less effective you will use no shield again so it's quite dangerous for you not to have enough healing potions again you could use restoration magic for that but when the um, things get hairy you should actually use just, just go ahead and use a potion at first when you don't have good enchantments of your armor you won't have enough mana so you also have to use magic potions perfect stamina is not so necessary although you can use power attacks with stamina it's not really needed because you can just go ahead and switch the spells you know yes perfect so the conclusion in conclusion I'm just gonna say that the spell blade is a very mobile mage fighter which uses many different strategies in combat allowing for a lot of improvisation and primarily relies on one magical school so yeah that's what you need to be effective as a spell blade perfect now also do not forget, just several comments from me, from me, do not forget to upgrade your weaponry to the max and your armor to the max as well, because since you don't use a lot, you don't have the opportunity to slack around. If you, if you have one weapon, it better be damn best weapon you can get. If you wear some armor, it better be damn best armor again, or else you're just gonna die a lot and swear a lot on the game when you're actually the one to blame. So perfect, I thank you very much for joining, thank you very much for watching, I hope you found out something new, I hope you're gonna try this class in your second playthrough, let's say, <laughs> and good luck with the game. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the commentary, go ahead, like, subscribe and share with your friends. It would also really help if you favor it, but that's not necessary, as not all of you do that. <laughs> thank you very much, have a great day and bye bye.